In this video, we're going to review the new updates that came with the Hilti Construction Layout 3.1 software version. And I'll go to settings and just show you in my system info that I am using 3.1, which is a new software update coming for Hilti Construction Layout. So the first thing I want to show you is uh, something that they've improved for the file export. And let me give you an example. I went ahead and made a random project, as you can see here, Title 111. And I went ahead and drew a random uh, point drawing on here. And these points between LP2 and LP3, it's a three-foot distance. And the reason I show you that is because what they changed is when I go to my project and I go to export that drawing, this drawing can now be exported as a DXF or a DWG, your choice, before it was just DXF. And also, it will export in accordance with whatever units you have set in your settings. So if this is at feet to a 16, any feet related, it's going to export as feet. So obviously US feet, international feet, feet to 8, feet to 16th, it's all going to export it in feet of CAD units. And um, if you bring it down to inches, it'll export as inches. Meters will export it in units of meters, etc. And I want to show you a quick example of how I already did this. So I have, again, I'm using this drawing. I exported this into AutoCAD. And let me show you what it looks like when I bring it in. So here it is brought into AutoCAD. And I exported this as feet to a sixteenth of an inch, which is what I usually keep my distance units on on my tablet anyway. And what I want you to see is when I type in units, the units that come up, it says it's in millimeters. This is just an AutoCAD thing. Sometimes it might say the wrong units at first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, I know I import, exported this as feet. So I'll quickly, ch quickly change this to feet, say apply, and I'll say don't rescale any objects. And you'll notice that when I do that, if I say distance, this line here is indeed three feet, which is exactly what I intended. So I'm just showing you that it definitely exported that as three feet. Let me give you one more example. Here is another drawing that I have on my tablet. And this drawing is obviously an actual CAD made drawing. The one I had before was one I drew on the tablet. This one was actually imported via CAD, but I want to show you that this is the exact same thing. Originally this drawing was in inches, but when I exported it, I exported it as meters. Okay, so I went to my settings and I went ahead and made this meters. And I, and I did a file export of that DWG file. And let me show you what that looks like as well. So here I have that file open, and like I said, let me go to units. You can see that it comes in and it says it's inches, but I know I exported it as meters, so I'll switch this to meters, say apply. I'm not going to rescale anything, and I'll go ahead and show you that if I do a distance check from A2 to B2, which I know to be 8 feet, it's coming up as 2.4 meters which is 8 feet. 2.4384 meters is 8 feet, which I know that distance is. So just keep that in mind. When you are exporting from the tablet, it's going to export at whatever units you have set here in the settings. The next update that comes with the 3.1 version of Hilti Construction Layout is the ability to lock your screen on north plan facing view when you're doing a layout. Let me show you. When I go to settings, I'm going to come down here to my general settings. And as I scroll down, you'll see that under layout, you have this option to turn the map orientation to free or to north. And we're used to free, but let me show you what free looks like again. Here I am in layout. If I go ahead and lay out a point to LP24, the tool is going to turn to LP24 and it's going to orient itself to assume that if I'm standing at LP24, that I'm looking directly at where the tool is stationed. So here is where the tool is stationed over here on this this center point, and you can see that it's assuming I'm standing here looking at the station. When I go to settings and I switch that to north orientation, when I come into the screen and I want to lay out a point, let's say I want to lay out LP14, I'm going to click on the LP14 and you'll notice that in this case the screen will not turn to where the station is, which is located obviously right here, but it's just going to keep a nice simple plan north view if that is my preference. The next feature update comes with a few things associated with staked points. And the first thing is that you can hide staked points after they're done if you so choose. So let me give you an example. Let me go ahead and lay out LP14. I'll go ahead and measure it to stake it. And then I'll go ahead and lay out LP13 to do the same thing. 
As you can see, I have two points staked at LP13 and LP14. I can come over here to my point menu, and under the filtering options, I now can turn off staked points. So I'll turn that off, and you'll notice those points that were staked are no longer there. So what that means, if I go ahead and lay out LP15, once I stake it and accept it, you'll notice it goes away. And it's disappeared. So this is a really good option if you are trying to keep your drawing clean as you go and you prefer to have points disappear as you work. But of course, when I say disappear, they're always able to be turned back on by going to the filter menu and checking that right there and then they come back as you work. The next feature update that they added also revolves around staked points and some point attributes in the sense that the CSV file of your point cloud is now going to include staked point data as well as some additional attributes of your points that I wasn't included before. And to show you what I mean, I have this point list on my file right now with some control points with, with a specified prism on that. I've added some attributes to some layout points such as a one inch sleeve, for instance, red, fire stopped, etc. And I also have some staked points in here and I'm interested to see how the staked points line up compared to how they were designed to be laid out. All the information can be exported in one CSV file, and let me show you what I mean. I'll go ahead and go to the project, and I'll come to my layout points here. I'll tap that, and I'm going to go ahead and export all the points that are in that list, including the station point, measure points, layout points. I can filter this if I want to, but I'll go ahead and export everything. I'll say check. I'll head, go ahead and typically export them as international feet. Coordinates, NEH, delimiter, comma. That's typically my style because I'm in the US. Doesn't really matter for you as long as you stay consistent with what you prefer. And I'll say check. I'll go ahead and select all the points to be exported. And I'll say check again. And I'll put it on my D drive. And I'll say check. So now let's see what this looks like in a CSV file format on my computer. So here I've pulled up my point file list. And you can see a few things. Point ID, obviously as, extent, as intended. And look at this, you have the LP6 design point of where it was supposed to go, and you have the staked point STK of where it was staked. So you have LP13, where it was designed to go, and where it was staked. Now again, I exported this as international feet, so all these values are in decimal international feet. And it's really nice because now I can take these staked points and apply them to some sort of deviation report or some sort of I can actually take those values and now compare them to the design point and they're included in the CSV file where before they weren't and it was hard to do a comparison. And here you see we have these attributes that are exported with the point file list. We have the horizontal and vertical angles. We have the distance that the state points were from the unit when they were measured. We even have with the parts per million, it shows you the prism type that was used when you actually made those measurements. So for these state points, I was using my direct read or the direct reflex laser. And I even have the prism type for my control points listed on here and the point type over here. It's really, really interesting to be able to have all this information because of how much analytical material you have, specifically with doing deviation reports and to track your work and how well you're working and how you were able to measure objects in the field. Okay, the final major update for the 3.1 Hilti Construction Layout software is going to be the ability to import a station without actually having to press the import button. Before in the stationing tab you'd have this button down here that looks like this. You'd see the import station button and all that means is that if you have a project, so if I have a project here and I have a demo project, which is one I have open, and you, let's say you have multiple drawings for a specific floor or let's say you're going up floor by floor and let's say I need to go from this drawing to this drawing to this drawing to this drawing, I want to lay out different material but the thing is, the station can stay exactly where it is. There's no need for it to move because all the drawings line up. Well, as you know, I've stationed on this job here, so I can go ahead and go to layout and start to lay out my stations over here. Well, I don't have a drawing for this to show you per se, but you'll get the idea. Let me go ahead and just say I want to work on this drywall job now. So I'll click drywall job because it's in the same project and within the same job folder as this demo job. Once I press drywall, I say check. I can go right into layout again, and it's going to warn me and say, hey, your active station will be used for this job now. Please confirm that the tool is still in the same location, and if not, you'll have to set up again. Well, as long as I know the station's in the spot I need it to be, and I'm going to be basically taking that station and moving it right over to my new drawing, I'll just say check, and now automatically it's imported into this new job. 
And you can see here as I zoom out, it's recognizing that same station point. All my control points stay there, you see this? And I can use it for this job now. Same thing, let's say I wanna to go to the next job on here, so I have demo, project still selected. I wanna work on mechanical drawing now, I'll say check. I'll say let's go to layout. It's gonna warn me that I'm importing the station again. I'll say check, and now it's imported successfully, and now I can lay out of that new drawing. So why would you use this? Well, if you have a set of plans that have been organized in such a way where each drawing set has different material you need to lay out, for simplicity's sake, so you have one drawing that shows the drywall, another one that shows the mechanical, or let's say that this showing they're all showing mechanical aspects of your drawing, but they're just showing it in different ways. You can separate all your drawings, and as long as they all line up on the same coordinate system, you can very quickly import that station between your jobs without pressing any additional buttons. So I hope that helps you in the future as you work about your, your job and that helps your workflow. But those are the five major updates to the, uh, to the Hilti Construction layout and please feel free in the comments to ask your questions or leave your feedback as well.